Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we need to address a rather concerning issue that's been discovered recently and it's about KSP's 2 unusual behavior in the Windows registry. It was first reported yesterday by a user named ONT12 on the official KSP forum. This problem is generating quite a buzz on forums and Reddit alike. The thing is, KSP2 is spamming the Windows registry each time the game runs, and this could potentially lead to serious consequences for your system. So what exactly is happening? Every time there is a sphere of influence change, or you load a save file, the game adds new information to the Windows registry. These records are stored with keys labeled PQS object state, plus some ID and they all seem to contain collocation and rotation data. In some cases, players have reported hundreds of thousands of these entries in their registry. For nth12, this register overload happened after just two months of playing. As these entries pile up, the KSP2 will eventually throw a Unity player prefs exception error, preventing the game from even loading into the main menu. According to Unity's documentation, this error occurs when writing to a preference file exceeds the allotted storage space. In Answell's case, these register entries consume a staggering 322 megabytes of storage. Now, let's be clear. Storing configuration information in the Windows registry isn't the best practice, especially when it's done in this way. Most games use config files within their installation directories. And when entries are created in this registry, they should be updated or modified as needed, not continually added. To put this into perspective, I compared the register entries between the original KSP and KSP2. Even with only a few hours of playtime, KSP2 had already added around 12 megabytes of data to the registry while the original KSP had minimal registry entries. And most of my installed games have no registry entries at all. So, what can you do about this issue? Well, there's an easy workaround. You can manually remove the duplicated entries in the Windows registry. But this isn't a perfect solution, as you'll have to repeat it from time to time. Uh, on the video you can see how you can do it yourself, uh, it's easily located and uh, what I did is pretty much just select the first and second to last and deleted them all and just left the latest one. It's worth noting that even after uninstalling the game, these entries still linger in the registry, so you might want to consider it even when you don't have the game anymore. If you are not comfortable tackling this manually, a fellow player has created a simple script hosted on GitHub that can help you remove these KSP2 registry entries safely. As you can see, it's simple script, uh, which exactly does what it says, removing entries from registry. What's truly surprising, however, is that why the developers didn't catch this bug during development or testing given how much time they run the game in the process. We can only hope that the developers will address this problem promptly and release a hotfix. And that's one of the reasons I've made this video, to draw attention to this issue and encourage the devs to take action. And actually, as I edit this video, I noticed that I have unintentionally recorded a response from the team that wasn't there when I started working on the video. <laughs> what a coincidence. So yeah, as you can see, the team is aware of the issue already and are indeed working on a hotfix. Thank you for joining me today. And if you have thoughts on it, please share them in the comments below as it helps spread the news. Stay tuned to the channel for more updates on this and other gaming related topics. Until next time, fly safe and game on.